On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant. Savor the flavor of Jamaica for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Visit goldencrust.com to order for pickup or delivery now. Now that Jamil is a professed Christian, what happened to Jamil, the dancehall recording star? Jamil will be right here on our stage to tell. Jamilani is another new age artist who has used the lockdown to do what dancehallers tend to shy away from, album production. But why did he name the project Dirt? to Bentley. Javilani comes to answer and to chat the project. Veteran DJ and producer Anthony Red Rose, best known for this, under me, fat, she under me. brings video premiere featuring the warlord Bounty Killer. Meet the unknown female artist whose music went viral by virtue of a bystander capturing a recent police operation at an uptown Kingston apartment complex with the artist's music being played in the background. BRT Atlantic City Review and other top stories. Guinness's top 10 trending songs in Jamaica and more are all coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. And we're back with top stories of the week. This year marks the 10 years of the Beach Road Trip Weekend concept, where thousands of fun seekers from all over converge on major US cities and cities around the world for three days of non-stop party action. Now this, the Atlantic City staging, is always the biggest. And by the looks of it, this one is shaping up to be another banger. The Beach Road Trip Weekend Atlantic City action begins right now. July 9 to 11, three days, three nights, six events. You see this BRT was basically a welcome back because everybody knows that for the past year or so, you know what I mean, it's been COVID, there's been a lot of things happening. You understand, but yeah, listen, we're back. Day one, the warm up party as usual, and that same night, an event that was to have Dexter Daps, but the weather said no. The following day, though, for extreme wet and wild, Dexter Daps made good for the thousands of patrons who came out to see him. Promote the love, give me a two show. <laughs> BRT weekend, you don't know. It's that spot to be. You know what I mean? This time of the year, so. We can't miss it. We have to be here to experience them something, yeah, man. Fun. Looking fun after the long COVID run. We need it, man. We need it. We need it. 
the greatest feeling is when you're able to connect with your fans physically. We know so we used to can connect um, over social media, but you know, there's a different feel when you can be around your fans and feel the love physically. So it's just a great feel to know that we're over all of this because although it gives you a time for reflect, for self-reflection, but trust me, it's, it's good to be on the road again. And on the lineup originally, a healthy dose of soca from Problem Child and Bungie Garland. You know what I got here today? You know, I checked into my hotel. I want to take it to the venue right away because BRT, from what I've been here, is a beer vibe. Soon as my touch, beer vibes. Everything great. Every time I've been here, everybody's getting all crazy. I touched the stage, it was wild, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, vibes was nice again. I mean, it's BRT weekend. Yeah. It's always nice. The whole concept is nice. The fact that you get away for a weekend, beach vibes, friends, ladies, drinks, music, that all go hand in hand. Your vibes was nice. One time gone, long time gone. Later that night, the glow party featuring the man himself, Alkaline. <laughs> Then on Sunday morning, the breakfast juve party featuring Mr. Killer, who literally killed his performance. And in the night, the event that pulls out the most people of all the events on the lineup. Full of vibes, beer food, beer energy. BRT, all white. Great, I loved it. It was a little bit of old school. RMB was mixed. It was it was really good. It was good vibes. Great, it's my third time. This is the real deal. BRT. BRT are going good, so we are come support the Zimmy and containable. Come here. Look for that girl here. I've been in her part just a while ago. That me I try to show you a few of them they hear enough. Great people, great music. Great smoke, everything's great, man. A lot of music, a lot of food, a lot of drinks. Everybody out here partying, man. Last year, them time at New York City, busy yeah. with nervousness, and to see everybody come back out and full joy with self. I went out for running in a basement and all these things, it was a joy, you know what I mean? From Friday, couple shot, right back to Sunday, judge and no man. Yo, the party, yo, BRT, yo, if you miss it, try and catch your next BRT. We're happy, and that's what to me. I smile more just to see that so many people come with that faith. So they know when BRT put on an event, they're going to get good, delicious food. They're going to get the best DJs. We always make sure we have the best artists. It's Well, it was very tough because this is the shortest amount of time that we ever had to pull off a BRT weekend. We got approval six weeks ago, so we had to do everything in six weeks. So it proved that we can do something that we've never thought we could do before. Normally it takes nine months. But we're really happy with the outcome. We have the 10-year anniversary coming up uh, next, and we're very happy about that. That's the second week of November. Also, after that, next year, we're back in Jamaica. So we have to take care of our customers who miss Jamaica and add to new ones who want to come and party in the island. Came here with two pair, a pair of feet, and I'm going home with just one feet. Meanwhile, in Jamaica. I Love Soca marks the first event of this magnitude to be staged in Jamaica since the government eased restrictions on the island and reopened the entertainment sector. All protocols observed. I Love Soca on Wednesday wasn't the regular packed house fans of the event are used to, nor was it intended to be. The event was pre-sold only with a limited amount of tickets and served as a model for what large events could look like with the new COVID-19 protocols in mind. Big kudos to Andrew Bellamy and his entire team. You know, I mean, on coming in, you know, there's a special area for vaccinated persons. And what I love about that is that Bellamy and his Isle of Soccer team, they're encouraging the vaccination of persons. So this area right here, you have to show your vaccination card coming in, all right? And then it's just a full access for all persons vaccinated. And even though you're vaccinated, you're still wearing your mask, you're still being sanitized, and the spacing, as you can see, is good. So, so far, I'm impressed. It's an honor. I'm 
must tell you though, it's, it's, it, it has been a very tiring process. It has been a very meticulous process for us. I mean, we have to meet with so many different agencies and bodies of government, as well as ministries. And I mean, we appreciate what we had to do, and we had no problem taking on the task and, and trying to set the standard, you understand? And as you said, you know, we, we're the first out of the blocks, and because of that, a lot of our suppliers and partners, even ourselves, it was like dusting off, you know, rubbing off dust and getting back into the business of it. So we're very honored and very happy that, you know, the government has entrusted us with the responsibility as an event organizer to host an event, a large event. Staged from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., could this also be a shift in the time Jamaicans party? I must tell you, the, 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 the new restrictions and protocols and curfews have certainly showed us that yo, we don't need to party at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. We can have a very good time from 5 in the evening and go home by 10. You understand? So, I mean, it's just about reshaping the mindset of the people, and I think we have done that. It's now for all of the event organizers and stakeholders to actually continue Continue. You understand? It, it also encourages um, greater productivity for the whole nation. You understand? New York based Irish Jam Radio takes aim at the Jamaican diaspora from Jamaica. This with the acquisition and rebranding of a Jamaican station. Launched at the AC Marriott in Kingston on Wednesday, what was formerly known as Music 99 FM is now the bridge. But this isn't a revamping of what existed before, but a whole new concept in Jamaican radio. The Bridge 99 FM is a vision that we've had for a long time of connecting Jamaicans around the world with Jamaica itself. So we're, we've been Irish Jam Radio in New York for 28 years. And what we've learned is that every Jamaican wants to come back home. Every Jamaican wants to be a part of the Jamaica. So this is us connecting them to Jamaica, to the music, to the business, to everything that they can be connected to here. One more added to the Jamaicans, you know, entertainment industry. You don't know, the sector is welcoming bridge. So what will the station be about in terms of its content? We're not going to be boring, so you, you won't hear a lot of talk every day. We're going to intertwine it like we do with, with Ari Jam. You'll hear the music, the entertainment, you hear Kurt Riley playing now. But you're also going to know, get information um, out of the, those, those other territories with the music. So you'll hear a DJ playing live from Canada, and then you'll hear a call-in from Canada. And then you'll hear Oliver Samuels, then you'll hear Rory Stone Love, then you'll hear Richie B, you'll hear Nicky Z and more. But more to be added, I can't say everybody's name now, but more to be added. So Irish Jam already having a lock on the dance pro, reaching anywhere from two to three million people in New York area alone every week. It made sense for us to invest so we can now literally create a bridge between New York and Jamaica. And now, Guinness top 10 trending song in Jamaica. Cash Promise Move has left the earth at number 10. And released just Friday and already making its way on the countdown, Shensia with Run Run at number 9. Massacre is special at number 8. They don't make nobody, don't make nobody tell you no special. Uh, While Chanel Muir is exclusive at number 7. Watch the girl, my no, my girl, my got a lot of flow, them sick. Stack a lot of shows, I'm gonna make a lot of hits, you know. Making its way to number 6 on our Guinness trending countdown, it's Ritical with We OK. Starting off our top five, it's Squash with Richard Milley. Very familiar, and I grew the boy and never had in there. Don't make no serenity on and I want no necessary. And at number four, it's Governor with Chop Chop. Chop a dirty gun, but you hold the divan. Ten grand left, and a Hennessy, you don't need pan. So where the horse? How where the land? Alkaline has the medicine at number three. Now we're not going with that, I got something. Sweet, we need me not the business as a king. While Chronic Law with Not Tell Me Nothing 
makes it to number two. And for the second week in a row, it's intense with Yahoo Boys at number one. Mark X with a crony on a silver plate. Big photo jack dog, Marco celebrate Costa Rica, Espanol client. So those are our top stories and uh, Guinness top 10 trending songs for this week. Stay with us right here on our stage, still to come. Jamil Chat's baptism. Javilani brings first album. Music of unknown artists went viral during police operation. Veteran artist Red Rose collaborates with the warlord in new track and brings the premiere right here on our stage. And more all coming up. We'll be back. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant. Savor the flavor of Jamaica for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Visit goldencrust.com to order for pickup or delivery now. Veteran singer-songwriter, producer Anthony Red Rose, who gave us classics like these. Under me fat thing, me under me fat thing. my God, this is a in a temper. It's right now, right here on our stage with a brand new track featuring no other than the warlord, Bounty Killer. Brand new body, brand new business, brand new pop in your style. Red Rose for you right now on our stage. <laughs> Red Rose, sir, welcome, sir. Thank Good you. to have you, sir. The same right here. Boy, you know, um, before we touch your big song with the warlord, yeah. just give us a quick summary of some of your exploits, some of your achievement in our music. Well, um, I'm from in the 80s, mm -hmm. and that's when the, the, the computer thing just come in. Yes. Like the sling thing rhythm yes. was like the first computer rhythm where take over this whole business and whole heap of artists and the rhythm, and tempo was the next computer rhythm. Yes. And like you would answer the computer revolution. Mm -hmm. Well, right now, the computer thing, it take over the whole business. Same. Right? You have drum machines. You never have drum machines them time. Yes. So everything was live. How big did Under My Fat thing? Oh, yes. Under My Fat thing take me everywhere in the world. Yes. And I'm a fat thing and a sling thing. Up to these days, I'm, I'm still singing that song. Yes. And specials and all kind of thing. Tempo, the same thing. All of my old songs, what I did for King Tubbies. Yes. Yeah. So, so the, the sling thing rhythm, right? Yeah. That was the first track on it? No. Um, it was under my sling thing was the first track. Yes. With Wayne Smith. So your, yours is... And Bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then sling thing. Yeah. Sling, it's the sling thing rhythm. That's why it was called the yeah. sling thing rhythm. Yeah, and my rhythm. one, my one produced by King Tubbies. Yes. And, and I'm a sling thing produced by King Jammies. Yes. So it was like Jammies. A slew of songs on it. That yeah. was the start oh, of everybody. Ten of several artists on the same rhythm. Yeah. Isn't that the start of it? So yeah, yeah. It's, it's a watershed moment in dancehall, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. When um, the Nuffman Pan Rhythm thing started, and also, as you say, the revolution, the computer, where we were now making rhythms on computers. Yeah. 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 So, so, and you're part of that history. Exactly. So what happened to you since? Well, you know, we got through all the things I produced. Mm -hmm. I did, I did songs with Bonticula that, let's get intimate. Yes. Let's I get intimate. Yes. I did songs with Rounded, boom, 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 bye, bye. Mm -hmm. All lot of songs I sing. I sing, I cannot live amongst no Eden. And I produced a lot of songs. I did a lot of things. Yes. You know? So you're still very much in the game, Red Rose. I'm like, I'm like the guy that in, always in the background, but doing powerful things. Yes. And you must have been traveling a lot too. Yeah. I've been yeah. up and down. And up. See? Well, let's not hold the brand new track any longer, Virgin. Yeah. Let's go to it, right? <laughs> All right, there you have it. Brand new body. That's the title of this track. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, sir. Well, brand new body. Interesting title. Yeah. Um, explain it for us. Well, brand new body is like a person who take care of themselves. Yes. It, it can go both ways. You can go, a girl spend money for do her breast them or whatever. Okay. Or you can go, you go to the gym, take care of yourself. Yeah. And you, just feel, you just feel brand new. The life where you live, everything is brand new. Yeah. It's like, like a barn over there. Okay. That's a pretty girl. <laughs> yeah, the video yeah. is nice. Very it's nice. nice. Nardia Rose did a good job. Yeah, well, yes. Big up Nar Nardia. Yeah. Nardia Rose, big up. So, so is, it, um, is it out and spinning at the track? Well, it's out, it's, it's, out, love yet? it's out Friday gone. Yes. Yeah, and it's on the, the black floor rhythm. Okay. And it have Luke D, Tonto Mecha, Devante, it have Busy Signal, mm -hmm. and many more. Yeah. Many others on the rhythm. Okay. And, it, and the juggling is called Black Floor Rhythm. Mm -hmm. And it produced by Black Adred. Okay, so, and Warlord, great relationship with you, you have with him, isn't it? Yeah, man. Bounty Killer is like my brother. Mm -hmm. Like from back in the days till now, from in the 90s. Uh, when we did, uh, let's get internet. Mm -hmm. That was the first song I did with Bounty Killer. Same. And we do another, Guns and Roses. You know, we have history together by, you know, singing a lot of dancehall songs that people really love. Well, Anthony Red Rose, so we're going to leave the rest until you come again. All right. And we can delve a little deeper in your, in your work, in your walk in this music, Reggie. Yeah, going at the real history. Yeah, because you're a central figure in the birth and ascension of dancehall. Give thanks. Yes, sir. So yeah, well. you're one of the pillars of dancehall, in my view. All right, sir. So there you have him in this segment, Anthony Red Rose. Go check him out. And it's still to come right here on our stage, Jamil will be here. Javilani brings first album. Music of unknown artists went viral during police operation. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant. Savor the flavor of Jamaica for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Visit goldencrust.com to order for pickup or delivery now. A recent police operation at an uptown Kingston apartment complex sent the music of an aspiring female artist viral. Temptation, break your meditation. You then you stay far from police station. This after a bystander captured images of the operation with the artist's music playing in the background. The artist goes by the name Brie Royal, who's right now, right here on our stage. Brie Royal, welcome. Yeah, oh, I'm glad to be here. Oh, it's good to have you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so you're still basking in that viral moment, I take it? Yes, um, it came so sudden, because mm -hmm. I, I didn't expect it to, you know, because the, the music hasn't been um, even released as yet. So it was weird for me. Right. So how did it get to be playing in the background um, of this video? Okay, let me tell you the story. Yeah. So I was in my bed one night, like I think a couple of days ago, and um, I was on Instagram and I saw somebody tag me in a post that Spikey, I think Spike the radio, um, personnel, Sparks, DJ right. Sparks. DJ okay. Sparks. Mm -hmm. She posted something on her page on Instagram, and I played it, and I, I heard my music in the background. I'm like, what's going on? So I downloaded the post, sent it over to my manager, and I was like, what's happening here? He himself didn't know what was going on. Okay. And then. Um, Ricky Trooper reached out to me. Ricky Trooper was the one that put it out there and it was playing in the background and people were asking about the music, asking about the music on Twitter and Instagram and all of that. So it went and now everybody's waiting on this song and asking who sung the song and everything. Okay, so still don't explain for me clearly mm -hmm. okay. how it got to be in that, 
in that moment, in that scene. Okay. Ricky Chupa took it there. He was the one playing it. He was the one playing it. He wasn't even playing it on purpose. It was, um, I think he was playing it on his radio station and he, he, the commotion started and he just started videoing without even recognizing Oh, that. it was being played on radio. Right. And, and he's doing a video. Video, and it was in the background. And the sound, <clears throat> it was the music being played. Right, right, right. So Ricky, it wasn't deliberate that he was trying to put your music in no, the, in the scene. No. In that dreaded scene with police and in that apartment complex. Right. So what happened since it went viral oh for you? Um, I've been people reaching out to my manager like crazy and um, people tagging me and stuff. Brie Royal, when are you going to release the song? Brie, um, since then, no, it was me, because I did a video saying that it was me, yeah. and everybody started reaching out, reaching out. So like the next day, I had an interview. I'm like, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm really not ready, but- You weren't ready. No, but my team made sure I was ready. I could give them um, okay. applause for that. Were you surprised at how people are responding to the song? Yeah, because it appears um, that they, some people were distracted by the song. song. They were more interested in the, the song, song than the operation. Oh, right. Um, honestly, okay, like the night before all that happened, because it happened like, I recognized it at 2 o'clock in the morning. But yeah. the night before, I was like, God, I need my career to push off, like seriously push off. And he, and then I was just there, and then all of this just happened. I'm like, I mean, I never expected it to be so soon, but <laughs> I'm glad it's there. And I'm, I'm grateful to Ricky Chupa and my team for preparing me for this. Yes. I just, I so, it was, so, you, <laughs> so there you were, mm -hmm. an aspiring artist. You put out a few things that yes. not really admit. No. <laughs> but so you're just cooling out. And then all of a sudden, your, your old career is fast track. Yes, everything is going so fast. Yeah, yeah, you now have to be doing interviews, and you're being called all over, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So you're right. managing, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with it pretty well. Yeah. I'm not too, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it, and I'm, I'm seeing where it could take me. But it's so, I don't know, it's oh, overwhelming. Boy. All right, so let's pause for me and let us give them, give our viewers <clears throat> yeah. a taste of the said song mm -hmm. right here. Let's go. Temptation, break your meditation. You and you stay far from police station. Don't let them lead you to them devil destruction. Stay firm, you better. Stay firm, you came back from the fire. All right, so there you have it. The big track that went viral playing in the background, inadvertently. Viral, and <laughs> she's now a star, okay? The track is called Temptation. So go check it out. <laughs> so, congrats. Thank you. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, the power, as I said before, the power of social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, so, okay. so so. Radio stations are playing the record? Yeah, right now they are because my manager goes out, which is DJ Spain. Yes. He goes out, he um, looks for the, sorry, there was DJ. Well, my whole team does it. My PR, my manager, mm -hmm. they go out, they look for the DJs on the radio stations. They give it the tracks to them. They play my song most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So talk about who you were before all of this. The your community where you were born and those things. I was born in Spanish Town. Mm -hmm. um, grew up in Belmore Lane, off the Brunswick, mm -hmm. and um, it. I mean, it's not up there, but. It's a cool place, I'm not going to lie. But from when I was young, I was doing music because my dad is a drummer. Mm -hmm. My mom is a songwriter. And I just grew up in music and started writing at 12. Okay. So, so you wanted to be in music 
that at, even at that age? Even at that age, I started writing at 12. So. And do you have their, their support, their parents? Support? Yeah, I have their full support, their quest? especially my mother. <laughs> Yes. Especially my She mom. wants you to, she thinks you, you have it. Yeah, because it was her dream as well to become an, uh, a, a good artist, an out there artist. Oh. But then that didn't work out. And now she's in um, media as mm -hmm. well, because she's in St. Lucia right now as a media personnel. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. So she will be watching you. Yes, that's our it. show. She makes sure to. This show is in St. Yes. Lucia, so she will see this. Yep. <laughs> OK. I'm going to leave it there. OK. Until you come again. Awesome. And uh, we expect you to come back. Yes, definitely. Uh, and at the moment, because this moment will take you where you want to be in music. Right. We hope. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like you're well organized and ready to exploit every opportunity you get. Yes, right now. yes. Big management in place yes. and all of that. Shout out to Top Boy Movement. No, it's same. I'm, I'm signed with a um, LA label mm -hmm. called um, Top Boy Movement. So they're, they're part of my management team. Oh, yeah. the Brie is for Britney. Yep. Okay, so Brie Royal, mm -hmm. thank you for coming and sharing with us. Thank you for having me. We'll be watching you. Yeah. <laughs> right. So there you have her in this segment. We Royal, the viral. And still to come right here on our stage, Jamil. The Christian Jamil. But first, Touchdown like NFL. Javilani brings the first album. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. As we often discuss here, the COVID lockdown has in general inspired artists to increase output of their art. One such is new age dancehall artist Javelani who produced his very first album. From there to the Bentley, this no we them rich is boys a most envy. welcomed development in the Jamaican dancehall space. As over the years, the typical artists in the genre tend to shy away from making long play records. Another pleasing feature of this album by Javilani is collaboration. Yeah. Big body bends, man, I try fast. Widening the practice of much needed unity in the music. We stuck it from a dollar to a million. From a get on our way in a Bugatti. But why did Javalani name his album Dirt to Bentley? <laughs> the artist is right now, right here on our stage, to answer that and to chat the project. Javalani, sir, welcome. Yeah, man, big up, brother. Yeah. Okay, so is it, uh, can you confirm that this was inspired by the lockdown? You have time to, to, to create, to, to write, to produce, to, to voice? Well, the album was started before the lockdown, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I started voicing the first tracks in 2019, you know what I mean, in the prime of my career. Yes. yes. So the album was a plan before the lockdown, you know what I mean? And I really covered me could drop the album, as yes, I just time do everything. Yes, well, that's what I'm saying, that the COVID brought you more time, because yeah, less traveling, less moving up and down, yeah. would have given you more time to finish up, to do more work. So where is it now? It's, it's ready? Yeah, the album was released already, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From last week. Yes. Oh, it was released last week? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And how is it doing so far? Well, it's doing great, you know what I mean? I mean, great reception so far. The fans, the master is a solid project. Great masterpiece, you know what I mean? Yes, but as we were saying, you know, albums are not something that dancehall artists 
readily do. So what made you want to do an album? Well, being an artist, you know, the process for being a, a, a complete artist, a, a, a projects where, you know what I mean, your career where long lasting, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. albums, EPs, you know what I mean, etc. So, we have to do them things for the fans, them to say, yo, I know joke thing we are dealing with, you see me, we're there for a long time, you know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and that you've just said what we hope is what's behind this, because so much talent among your generation, but quite often we don't see enough of them stepping up to be as big as some of the bridging them up north in the US. Mm -hmm. It's a good look when we see artists do album, artists are unite. I hope that's where your head is, Javilani, is it? It's are you thinking like that? Space, definitely. Mm -hmm. see me? Because unity is strength, you know what I mean? Me I hear that, you know what I mean? They must say that before my band, so I could lie, you see me? So more collaboration, you know what I mean? That, 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 that makes you more diverse. Yes. You see me? Yeah, man. So. We need more collaboration as young artists, same way with all the elder them too. You see me? Well, it's really good to think. hear you articulate that. Because if you don't know, say it you know, and do it, you know. it's Definitely. not going to happen. You are the future. You, are, you have the youth energy in you, saying, to do these things. So when the older one them do it, it's OK and it's great, and it's a good example, and so on. But when you know, youngster not do it, it's like, we're not sure about the future of the thing. But when you soon have make album, as you just articulated, you have to have your work out there that can last. Definitely. That, so who are who upon the album? Well, the album features Trans One Gov, that's my artist, Wild Side Government, you see me? See? Yeah, man, a song called Scheme, one of the people in the stream that song, a bad, bad song, energetic song, you see me? We have Cranium upon it, Prince One, that are the Trinidad, but yes, dance all that's artists. another good look too. Yeah, man. So we have a video, a track from the album that we'd like to show right now. Let's go to it. Pull up mama jean shots. Big body bends, man, I drive fast. R -R. So there you have it, Dirt to Bentley. It's actually the title track from the album. This I get love, yeah, enough man. love. Yeah, man, This enough This love. particular track, right? Yeah, man, enough love. See? Mm. Explain the title of the album, Dirt to Bentley? The album is really representing my progress. You know what I mean? We are fought from nothing to something. You know what I mean? And we are drive some Bima, some Benz. So you don't know, say Bima and Benz, I get a Bugatti and I get a Bentley. Them as <laughs> me. So from we say, from a get to know we in a Bugatti, that we are talking about right there, so you me. So. I just motivation for the youth, the man, for to say, yo, you can come from nowhere and read somewhere, you see me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And music is one of the avenues that some of them should look to. Yeah, but I know everybody, you see me, have a band with it, you know? Yes. Yeah, because I know how come up thing, you see me? I kind of like you, where you're going with that. And I wish I could hear more, because mm -hmm. to be a recording star, the real world out there is, is tough. Yeah. And to make a living out of music is a tough thing. Yeah. Saying, and, and so that must be said too. Because sometimes I don't think, I don't know if some of you I get it how tough music is. Yeah? Yeah, man. You have to fight for your one, man. You see me? Because even when you get the break, you know, you have to preach, you have to maintain that. Yeah. You see me? Because if you fall off, Nobody know want to see you again, you see me, and nothing is going for you, you know what I mean? So, even when you get the break and you make the bag of money, you have to pay long term, you see me? Mm -hmm. Investment, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, man. What's your outlook like at this point? Now we see some opening up of Guan and show a Guan of foreign, the whole of the promoter, the migrant, going to Miami and Atlanta. And, Mm -hmm. Try stay there at, at the show, or you stay? Well, you don't know the whole of overseas been a ball for me, you know, because we sing a hit song, you know. Yes. I'm in a tour all now, you know, you see me, so. I the visa, I'm a weird pan, you know, for, you know. 
Yeah, jump out, so like how the world open up now. Yes. Hopefully, visa them drop soon and we jump out and go mash up the whole of us, you see me? See, so the demand is very high. Definitely, man. USA. For, for you overseas. USA and UK right now. I demand right, right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I want to see you in person on a yeah. stage live. Yeah, man. See? And you can't wait for for, for, for go deal with it. Yeah, long time. See? See? Mm -hmm. All right, so what's happening otherwise in your career, though? The, the album that I promote right, right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, more everybody go stream the album. You know what I mean? The supporters, the haters, them, everybody. Me just want to go listen to anything. You know, if you buy it, just stream it, you see me? Yeah, yeah right, that's a man, because it's a solid album. Me listen to it for myself and know say it's a solid album, because you don't know me. I'm a lover of music, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I know good music. So, I just want to go stream the album and I have a next mixtape. Yes. Steady right now, about 20. Brand new track, the funny way nobody never hear it. You know what I mean? For drop said we about, we just are going to promote the album at the moment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you miss performing for Jamaicans in Jamaica? Most definitely. Almost every day I think about that, you know what I mean? For run out on the stage, go sing my song them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you don't know, I love the reception I fans them. They motivate me to go sing some more song for energize them when we run out on the stage, you know what I mean? So, I definitely want to run out back on some stage soon, isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> well, Javi, we appreciate your coming here, sir, and sharing your album with us and your thoughts. And we look forward to you succeeding as a recording artist and to inspire some youth to, to uplift themselves in this Jamaica land we love. Same here. Big up, brother. Yes, sir. Bless you. Yeah, Bless man. you. Okay. All right. So there you have him right here in this segment of our show, Javelani. Next, Jamil, the Christian Jamil. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant. Savor the flavor of Jamaica for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Visit goldencrust.com to order for pickup or delivery now. Now that Jamil is a professed Christian, what happened to the variant he injected in the spelling of his given name to create brand Jamil, the recording artist? The variant is the letter H that changed the spelling from J-A-M-I-E-L to J-A-H-M-I-E-L. Now put his physical image in that mix and the assumption is easily made that the artist is a full-blown Rasta man. Right now, right here on our stage, Jamil, to clear it all up for us. Jamil, sir. Greetings. Greetings, sir. It's been a while. Blessed love, been a while. Mm -hmm. Congrats on all your success. Congrats on your... Baptism. Your baptism yes, and your conversion, so your spiritual... I don't mean, like, like the word conversion because I was always a son of God. So. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, well, you're, you're, you're finding your spiritual self. Definitely. Is that okay? Yeah, All right. definitely. All right, sir. So let's... The word job. Yes, yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing is wrong with the word job because that's mm -hmm. another name for God. If you read Psalm 68, mm -hmm. verse 4, the word Jah is there for another name for God. So nothing is wrong with that. Okay, so, yeah. so it's, you don't have to change anything. No, I don't saying. have to change it because I'm a man of God. But weren't you perceived as a man, a Rasta man? Um, I guess due to the facts, uh, you know, my locks and I mean my music, I gravitate to a lot of Rasta artists. Yeah. But like, I didn't know the plans that God has for me. And I know me, I find out, and that's why I see me baptized. I'm find my way now. So you were not really a Rasta fan? I was always a man of God. Yeah. Like, I don't like when you say like Rasta or Christian, or what, like, I feel like we are bring segregation and the thing when there's only one God, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, so how do Rastafarians feel about your conversion or your transition? Well, so far the people I've spoken to, like, they must say, well, if, if that's where you find your way, then so be it. God has many names. 
Okay. You know, but what 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 caused me to depend on the part of my depend is like I had some experience. Mm -hmm. Experiences in last year where, you know, God revealed himself to me and I mean I find my answers in the church and that's how I depend on the part of my depend now. It's not a thing where I see somebody I do something and I like it and I follow what them I do. No, I have a real life testimony that brought me on this path. Yes. I'm on. Do you, all right, so do you consider yourself a Christian? Yeah, I mean, in, in, in this time and age, that's the, that's, that's the name, what they call um, followers of Christ, Christians, but before it was, you know, mm -hmm. believers, and in the Old Testament, it was, um, we were called disciples, you know. But why may I say, oh, I don't like when we say, like, Christianity and then Islam and all of them kind of thing, because I, really, I feel like religion is a, you know, division. Create division. Create right. division, something like that, because one God. Yeah. Aren't you part it, of a congregation? Of worshippers, definitely. Yeah, I attend the you know Tyrant Baptist Church. Okay. Definitely, right up the road from you. Yes. So yeah, isn't man, that, that yes? Where I was baptized. Yeah, so definitely. Isn't that, isn't that yes? Where you were baptized? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so so all right. So let's talk about your secular life. What are you leaving behind? Are you leaving anything behind? Um. Well, me never, me never, me not feel like I did um, close to God as much and now. You know, may I give God more of my time, mm -hmm. you know, show more appreciation for, for what he has um, took me through. And, you know, I strengthen my faith. Yes. You know, only for fasting, only for praying. Yeah. Okay, but your music? The music. Anything you would be not no, perform no, I mean, any, any longer? I mean, certain songs I think I'm going to take out on my set, but like majority of my songs, them conscious positive mm -hmm. so I don't have much changes to make you know I was always you know singing about God in my music and you know keeping it positive and yes. you know, motivating but you definitely are going to hear more um, Bible inspired songs because mm -hmm. that's where I get most of my inspirations from now and yes. you know I'm actually working on a new album so I don't want to give you too much but you know the fans can. A new album coming? Uh, yeah, man, we have a new album that come um, um, in October, and yes. the name is going to be um, Testimony. Mm -hmm. You know, what about the whole journey? Yes. You know, and yeah. You remember the last time we spoke here? We spoke about your, you coming like full circle. Mm -hmm. The house band deal, Jamil, was who brought you to prominence mm -hmm. in dancehall, in reggae, in Definitely. our music, Reggie. And we thought that your emo, that's where you belong. That's, that's, that's who you yeah, are. We'll find it, man. Find right? So, we'll find <laughs> so is it a rediscovery to, of that? Back to basic. Well, I mean, I was always a conscious artist, but I feel like, you know, I my, 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 my find, um, find my truth and, you know, I find me that search for my thing. I'm more solid now, like. Yes. When I when my, when my first step on the scene with Gay in the World, I never I don't feel like my feet did strong enough, so that's why I could get caught up and go down certain roads, like all in a clash with people and mm -hmm. I put certain energy out there. But now, I find myself so like certain things in August I entertain. Like, like the cars, my cars, and my purpose is way bigger than you know, trying to bring down. Yes. My, 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 my brothers and my sister, them, you know what I mean? I say, I'm more for those help and just show all the love, like do unto others as I would like them do unto me. As the Bible said, you know, God put the Ten Commandments in a one sentence, and it might sound simple, but a lot of people can't do unto others as we would like them do unto us, you know. So you think you're not properly defined that you are who we see now will be you. Definitely, man. For and and it, this is no, this is no, this is no pressure for Jamil because yes, I mean I can ask my close friends, I can ask my family, or they know me as a very humble individual. I'm live a very simple life, so this is no pressure. It's like yo, this uh, is me. Well, yeah, no pressure. Those of us who judged you by the <laughs> house panel, Jamil, and said that's you, we judged you then because you didn't really come and articulate that this is all I am and yeah. this is me. But I mean. I was always like that, as I said before, you know, but yes. I don't feel like I did strong enough mentally. Right, That's but we, so we were feeling that, that you in you. 
Yeah. You know, it was the, always there, you know. Yeah. As I said, was always a man you, of God, but I still got distracted. But if I did, if I didn't know what I know now, back then, it would have been different. It would have different results. That, that energy, that mm -hmm. persona, you emitted yeah. in that but particular record, remember, in that no, time. Listen, no man, remember nobody not perfect, you know. What no, I me? understand. You ah. don't have to defend it, my friend. You, right. you, there's a rediscovery, and we like it, because yeah, we, be, we believe that's who you are. Because sometimes a man isn't what he's singing or, or, or DJing. But in your music, mm -hmm. there are some artists who you can kind of connect the persona, the person, yeah. with their music, with what mm -hmm. they're singing. Because you feel that soul, that raw soul spitting sure. in those lyrics. Yeah. And I'm saying, Bedrick, if yeah. you were the house party, Jamil, yeah. I don't know who you could be. Oh, true, true, because so, that it sounded like that's yo, that, that's where I belong. Oh, Ah. Right? Yeah, man. Like, and you know the thing about it, Winford? It's the album when I ever come forward, like, you're going to hear <laughs> that kind of sound. You're going to say, yo, what did that to him? That, that Jamil I know, man. <laughs> yeah, like, even me, I hear the, like, the difference in my, my new music that I mm -hmm. start do in the recent times. And I say, whoa, what was wrong? You know? All right, so we, we have a video queued up for you. Is this. Could we mix that into what co what's coming in October? De definitely. Yes. It definitely. It's, it's so this is a little part. taste of a taste yeah, this, of that. Yeah, this is just the beginning, you know, January. Of the journey. All right, let's go. Yeah. Buckle from buckle, but you fight with fight. And show up with the wheel like a lamp in the night. All right, well, you know, this track kind of answer the question we've been asking about the J-A-H. <laughs> the man is saying the song is really Johnny Valif. <laughs> That's the title. Yeah, so, ja, never leave. Ja, yeah. ja was there from the, uh, the very yeah, start. But, I feel like I make some mistakes and after I make my mistake them, I'm call upon him. He still take me out of, you know, mm -hmm. that, some dark times. So, Ja really never leave. He's always him merciful and him forgiving. Yes. So, I never leave. No matter how I make my mistakes, them just I watch me and say, you soon, you soon know the truth, man. Go on and make your mistake, them. You're going to learn. See. You were in Africa recently. Talk yeah. about that trip. What yeah, was, I was that in about? Gambia um, mm -hmm. for, the, for, the, for the second time, you know, and um, it was great, as usual. You know, I, I get a lot of love in Africa, you know. Mm. Shock, you know, I don't Ghana yet, but shout out to the Ghanaian massive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was there, did, did one show and a couple of past shows, but one major show and, you know, thousands of people, I think it was like, you know, about 15,000 people this time around and, um, you know, them know all of my songs, them word for word. Mm -hmm. They over there for like, what, seven days and I say, oh, all right, time to leave. I'm reach at the airport, they must say, oh, I have to turn back because I'm going to do 14 days. COVID oh. restrictions, so now, after them, say, yeah, them say, I was there for 14 days, so I stay as a bum now and buy a next ticket from Senegal to New York. I try to get a straight flight because I'm ready to leave and when I go to Senegal, as I say, them say my name in the system say I'm only um, there in the country for seven days and I have to do another seven days before I can leave. So I did over there for a minute and you now the holy for soul searching and all of that good stuff. And, yeah, man. So, Fresh. So, so <laughs> part of the soul searching went mm -hmm. down in Africa. I mean, I, I, I baptized before I go to Africa, but you know, yes. I was just... So you were still on that transition? You were yeah. still in transition? Definitely. You okay, know. and you found it in Africa? I mean... Would you say? M M Africa, that, 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 that delay you know, say, honestly, honestly, you to, to read? Honestly, you know, so I'm going to find it before I even go to Africa. I'm going to find it before I baptize. Yes. Like, yeah, because, you know, yeah, you were, certain, yeah. Yeah, certain changes did happen in mm -hmm. my life, and, you know, it's like, yo, I start to see the light now, and then I remember when the advice um, just said to me, say, yo, you know, say, I need to go to church, I'm going to go to the church, Winford, that a Tyrant Baptist church, I'm shout out to Prophetess June and um, Jeffrey Shuttleworth, and I'm there in the church here at Winford on a Wednesday, and Winford, I don't know the pastor and the pastor don't know me and the pastor start to talk some things and they come like I'm me, the man I talk about. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit just take me over and I just surrender. And he just them call me into the church and I'm going to the church and start praying for me and the man just tell me some things where I know about myself but I never tell you that. <laughs> you see me? Mm. And God just revealed himself to me through people. 
is when I say, because I remember say, God is within all of us, you know. You just have to tap into that energy. And, yeah. As, he would, as um, Jeffrey Shot would have said, he my um, destiny help us. So, he did to help me and guide me in the right way also. So, shout out to the, the, you know, the strong people out there who are represent the Almighty. You know, Yahshua Emashiach, also known as Jesus, the Messiah. Ah, uh, uh, well, Reggie, we look forward to the, the, the music, the, the new album coming in October. You yeah, say? man, testimony. Testimony. Yeah. Yes. So well, speak, just so speak my life, you know. Okay. And the things I've been through, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. We look forward to that. Yeah. That should be deeply inspirational. Definitely. To say the least. So I okay, can't wait, boss. Yeah. But as usual, it's always good to have you right here, um, Jamil. Feel free to come back when the album is ready. Yeah, man, definitely. And and we the, need to do a performance. Oh, I'm yes. going to do that. T the stage is right here waiting for you, sir. Sure. All right, so there you have him. Mm. The man, Jamil. Okay, and we hope that all your questions are now answered. And that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.